If you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion fits? Putting on the red. Different types wear a big coat and with stripes or color away coat. Perfect fit. Putting on the red. Dress up like a million dollar trooper. I wish my pop would get the boiler fixed in this building. I'm freezing. You know, Vinny, Eskimos keep warm by rubbing their noses. <laughs> well, those Eskimos don't know nothing. <laughs> okay, Vinny, let's work on your vocabulary course. Yeah, Pop says I should study vocabulary so I can meet rich people. But, you know, I don't know why I'm bothering. I use words in almost every sentence I say. Here's an interesting one. Sensuous. Hmm. It means sexy, lustful, erotic, <laughs> desirous. It means Mona. Penny, <laughs> I want you more than ever. Don't you want me? Don't you think I'm sexy? Mona, it ain't right. You're 16 years old. If I think you're sexy, I could end up in jail. <laughs> Some guys in there might think I'm sexy. <laughs> Quick, take off your clothes. Bless you, Mr. Verducci. <laughs> That's it, Mona. Stop at the coat. Vinny, you stay away from her. You know where you'll end up. <laughs> Pop, what are you doing? It's freezing in here. I know that, and you know that. But the tenants don't know that. So don't let on. <laughs> <laughs> Loopy, you're looking younger than... Than last week's spaghetti sauce. Imagine, Chief, you better fix that boiler. And we've got a few other complaints, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Is it me or is Loopy looking foxy today? Ah, she's a nice woman, but how long has it been? <laughs> Put it this way. Last night I dreamed Mr. Fluffy was wearing a black lace nightie. <laughs> Pop, what happened to the heat? I thought the owner of the building gave you money to fix the boiler. I used it for your self-improvement course. But don't worry, I got a plan to take care of the cold. It's called August. <laughs> and I got a plan to take care of our future. It's called parking attendant job, and I'm interviewing for it today. Hey, Vinny, I can just see you now wearing that short little red jacket and a tight pair of speedos. <laughs> Hey, parking attendants don't wear speedos. You would if you were parking with me. <laughs> Mona, go home. Vinny, the Ducci master plan calls for you to marry rich, not shuffle Chevys. <laughs> now look, if you're going to mingle with rich people, you got to be able to smooth out your rough edges. I like the edges. <laughs> oh. You better study. And I don't mean Mona. Now, you kids will excuse me. I have a lot of angry tenants waiting to talk to me. You know, I'm not the kind of super who ignores them. I avoid <laughs> Okay, so maybe being a parking attendant isn't the greatest job in the world, but my pop needs money. And you know what they say. When the going gets tough, the tough have to be or not to be. That is the question. <laughs> one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Let's go, girls. Let's shake your cellulite. Marlo, I think I'm getting a leg cramp. <laughs> hey, cutie. <laughs>
How about a leg rub? Okay, but make it quick. I got a job. <laughs> My leg. Oh. Let's start with the calf and see where it leads. Oh, oh, well, he's kind of cute. Does that young man work here? Uh, not yet, but he will in five minutes. <laughs> okay, girls, just first. Oh, time out. <laughs> Baby, your husband's on the way. <laughs> Hi, I'm the manager here at Rolling Hills Country Club. Alexandra Stone, but you can call me Alex. If you don't mind, anyone who puts their leg on my shoulder, I'd prefer to call Alexandra. <laughs> I'm Vinny Verducci. I'm here for the parking attendant job. Oh, Vinny, there are millions of parking attendants, but it's Carlo's last day, and I'm looking for someone to fill his shoes. With what? <laughs> Didn't you notice those women really liked you a lot? And listen, I need an assistant, someone really charming like you, who can take the ladies off my hands, huh? I don't know. Dealing with rich people makes me uncomfortable. I'm much more at ease dealing with the average John Dope. <laughs> Listen, Vinny, why don't you just try the job for one evening tonight? We're going to have a 50s party. It's going to be fun. I'm telling you, all you have to do is just tell them what they want to hear, and they will do anything you want them to do. I don't know. People see through that in a second. Oh, come on, Vinny. I'm sure that an intelligent, articulate... Handsome, sophisticated young man like yourself. If you could handle one itsy bitsy little day here. Yeah, I guess I can. Hey, okay, let's get started. Follow me. Hey. Did you trick me? No. Okay, just checking. Here you go. What's this? Your rolls. You asked me to bring your Rolls around. Oh, a Rolls Royce. A car? Yeah. Good thing you don't drive a Jaguar. I'll, uh, I'll have him get it for you. You drop careful, Mr. Clayton. Hi, Mr. Field. Good day to you. Hi there, Mr. Takamaki. New contact. <laughs> But behind the line. Excuse me? Uh, no, excuse me, my friend. Behind the line. <laughs> Where do you think you're going, Pally? Well, I'm here to see my... Hey, wait a minute. I'll say who's here to see who. What's your name? Verducci. Charles Verducci. Spell it. V-E-R-D-U-C-C-I. My son put me on the list. What's his name? Verducci. Spell it. <laughs> All right, head on in, Stretch. <laughs> Remember, I'm here to protect this place. That's good to know. I'll be sure to call you if we get attacked by munchkins. <laughs> I smell money. <laughs> to Bermuda. Awful. She came back. <laughs> uh, may I help you? Haven't we met before? Well, uh, I know. It was in Cairns. Right? I was with Bobby De Niro. Uh, no, I've never been to Cannes. <laughs> <laughs> Could it have been that cruise to Aruba? Yes, the cruise to Aruba. <laughs> I was with Gopher. <laughs> hey, we had some time, didn't we? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what am I saying? I've never been on a cruise. <laughs> but I do think I know who you are. Oh, really? You're the kind of guy I've always been attracted to. Oh, really? You're the kind of guy I always fall head over heels in love with. Oh, really? Really. How long have you 
long it's been for me. <laughs> no, I don't. But if you're counting on me, it's going to be a long time. <laughs> Listen, pal. You are my worst nightmare. You are every mistake I have ever made. You light up my life and you burn it down. <laughs> Do I know you? <laughs> No, but I know you. Oh, I know you too well. Oh, yeah? You're yes, yes. Prove it. All right. All right. You spend your days at the track, you spend your nights at the pool hall, and every other Tuesday at the unemployment office. Lucky guess. <laughs> Wait a minute. You don't know about that cat in the black lace nighty thing, do you? No. But I'm not surprised. <laughs> Look, I can... We just go out and have a nice, quiet evening together. Oh, no, no I, really, no pressure, no pressure. Just uh, a little candlelight, a little small talk, a little dinner, no pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Cook whatever you want. <laughs> Cook. <laughs> Me. Of course. You're the woman. <laughs> I'll bring the six-pack. <laughs> Must have gone with some real jerks. <laughs> Listen, Pop, I know you're mad at me for working here, so if you want me to quit... No, Vinny, say... Vinny, Vinny, it takes a big man to admit when he's wrong. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, I'm... I was wrong to take the job. No, 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 no. I'm the big man. <laughs> I was wrong to tell you not to take it. This is the perfect place for you. I've always wanted you to work on the lap of luxury... And you're right in the crutch. Pop, I know you have these plans for me marrying Rich, but I just don't fit in here. I mean, I'm out of my ointment. <laughs> Vinny, you're in your ointment, believe me. <laughs> Besides, you're a Viducci, aren't you? Yeah. And isn't a Viducci as good as anybody? Yeah. And a Viducci is as smart as anybody. Yeah. You're right, Pop. You know, I may not be an Alan Einstein, but I think I can do it. Fire! <laughs> That's it. I'm out of here. Vinny, Vinny, come back. It was just a little accident. Woohoo, Vinny, you really flooded there, Flamby. <laughs> You know, Mona, I'm just as happy I'm not working at that stupid country club anymore. I mean, I don't need those rich people looking up their noses at me. Well, I'm glad you quit too, Vinny. It was really putting a strain on our relationship. We only work four hours. <laughs> hey, hey, we don't have a relationship. Well, I'm willing to give it my all. <laughs> I'm disappointed in you. You finally get a good job and you walk out. Now, son, if there's one thing I've taught you, it's a sense of responsibility toward your work. Where's our heat, you bum? <laughs> Ruby, you'll get your heat when I'm damn ready. <laughs> I don't know why I ever saw in that woman. <laughs> Mona, could you excuse us, please? Because Vinny and I have to have a little father-son chat. Oh, you haven't had that talk yet. <laughs> no wonder I'm having such a hard time. <laughs> Vinny, take notes. <laughs> Vinny. Vinny, you have to go back to that job. I can't, Pop. They all laughed at me. So what? They all laughed at Columbus, too. <laughs> well, maybe that's why he's not working there now. <laughs> Vinny, please. You can't quit. Not this particular job. There's this, uh... This, uh, this, this woman. Alessandra, she's, um... Very special. Pop, uh, huh? I didn't know you could still get the hot. <laughs> what are you talking about? I get just as hot as you get. Just takes me a little longer to heat up. <laughs> but when I do... Bravo! <laughs> See, the point is, son, this woman's got me feeling things I ain't felt in a long time. My heart is racing. My, my palms are all sweaty. I got butterflies in my stomach. 
Are you getting a burning sensation when you urinate? Because I was watching Dr. Art Ulean on the Today Show. Wait, 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 wait. I'm pouring my heart out here. Why are we talking bodily fluids? Okay, Pop, I'm sorry, okay? Okay, let's say this thing with Alexander works out, all right? Okay. There's no guarantee it'll last. You could get hurt real bad. Now, would it be worth all that pain for a few months of great sex? <laughs> Off to work I go. <laughs> Babu! <laughs> I'm putting out my cigarette. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I guess I look pretty stupid throwing that water around. No, no. <laughs> See, not as stupid as you guys look with those 49 cent Elvis wigs. Oh, hey, I'm glad you're back. Wow, it must have taken you hours to put that 50s outfit together. Oh, yeah, hours. Excuse me, Miss Stone. Pardon me for interrupting. I hate interrupting. I think there's nothing rude or interrupting. I mean, you're middle Emma, talking. what is it? I was not damaged. <laughs> Emma, would you like to go back to being in charge of daycare? Oh, no, please. Not those terrible pikes. <laughs> uh, uh, there's somebody here to see Benny. Says he's a pro golfer friend of his. I'll take care of it. Okay. Hey, you know, these really are Elvis's sideburns. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, a friend of mine knew Elvis's barber. He swept him up for me after an Elvis got a haircut. I had him painstakingly reassembled. No. Would you like to see the king's armpit? Uh, no, thank you. No. All right, at ease, little mister. And don't you try no funny business, or I'll shine my flashlight right in your eyes. <laughs> Not Bud. It's Arnold. <laughs> Arnold Bundy. <laughs> as far as Lynette's concerned, I'm the top moneymaker at the Pro Tour. Come on, Bud. You think anybody's stupid enough to believe that? Hey, by the way, what's Jack Nicholas really like? <laughs> no wonder my sister likes you so much. <laughs> anyway, when she told me you were working down here, I decided I'd bring Lynette down to the golf course and uh, play around. But it's too dark for golf. I know, I just want to play around. <laughs> Come, Lynette. Let me show you my putter. <laughs> now remember, keep your head down and your eye on the ball. <laughs> Come on, Fred. Oh, get in a 50s mood. Let's dance. Listen, we met in the 50s. We danced in the 50s. Now I'm in my 50s. I'm done dancing. We have got to do something to get their attention. Well, I'm already over the limit on my MasterCard. Got any idea? Vinny, how's my attire? Pop, you don't got attire. The butt's sagging a little bit, but hey, you got no tire. Excuse me. Vincent, this dance is ladies' choice. Uh, is Mr. Epstein cool? He's frozen.
sorry I had to talk you into this god awful job. It's okay, Pop. I forgive you. <laughs> I hope you don't take this the wrong way, but, um... Well, if good looks were illegal, you'd be in jail for life. Charlie, that didn't get to me when I was 16. How could you still remember? Gotta be at least 10 years since you were 16. You're still coming, aren't you? It's a gift. I'm gonna kill that Verducci kid. Yeah, he's not gonna make a fool out of me. Vinny, excuse me, excuse me. Oh. These guys are talking about you. Yeah? Well, I'm getting pretty popular here. Yeah. <laughs> work, work, work. I say we get him, and we get him now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Do you see the way that punk is carrying on with our lady folks? Yeah. 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 I say we take care of him. Right. Good yeah. idea. Yeah. Do we care that he's a professional boxer? No. <laughs> no. Do we care that he maims so many men that he's not allowed to fight in the state of Illinois? Yeah. <laughs> What if he called Mike Tyson a sissy and got away with it? Oh. <laughs> okay. Now, who's with me? Uh, I'm watching all the bad guys. Rich guys. <laughs> Walsh is in love, but the girl of his dreams has a terrifying secret that could tear their relationship apart. I've never felt this way about anybody before. You've got to tell me what's going on. I don't need you to protect me. Now, stay tuned for a special presentation of 90210 next.